Hey there, welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about different write and read modes when you're opening files in Python. So first off, as you can see, we have different write and read modes here, and I'm going to be going over everything here, okay? So complete beginner steps, how do we go from here? So there's a function in Python called the open function, and like in this function, you can use it to open files, read files, write files, append to files, and a lot more. So what you can do to use that function is just to type open. And here, the first argument is going to take like the name of the file. So in our case, we want it to be like text.txt. Before we go further, I want you to understand that there's a difference between the txt files and byte files. So byte files can be like your images and other stuff that you know you cannot actually open in a text editor and understand the code. Though a text file is still a byte file, but it's more convenient to use it as a text file. Okay, so now what exactly is the difference? The difference is that a text file, you can have something like hello, and on the next line, you can have something like well. This can be stored in a text file, but this cannot be stored in a byte file. If you're writing bytes, bytes don't have like new lines and stuff. It's just like one whole long string of bytes. Well, hopefully you get the point now. And okay, now we have open text.txt. Well, what exactly does this do? It doesn't do anything now because you can see here we don't have any text.txt, so we have to create one. And you can use the write mode to create one. So I put a comma there and put W inside, which means write, okay? So now, before I continue, before I proceed, I should store this in a variable called file, and I'm going to do file.close. So the reason why we're closing it is because of memory leaks. If you leave a lot of files open and like they're not actually closed on time, they will leave memory leaks. Probably like if you're on a Linux system, this would be very common for you because your operating system doesn't really like take note of things like that. But if you're on a Windows like me, you may be able to get away with it, but it's not advisable to always get away with it. Okay. At the point, you may even have to restart your computer just because of this. The point is, after opening a file, make sure you close it. Most of the time, you may have some code in here that is going to give you an error. So what you should do is put this in a try and accept block, or should I say a try and finally block, so that whatever happens after you have opened the file, at the end of the day, it must still close it, if you understand what I'm saying. Sorry, this guy is supposed to be outside the try block. Yes, this is how to open a file. So if I run this now, you should see um, we have a new text.txt file here, and there's nothing inside, okay? So that's quite good, but maybe you may not be feeling very convenient with this um, whole file opening and file closing way. What you can do is just say with open, and here you can say as file. So after the function, you say as file. Here you can do whatever you want in here, and Python is going to automatically close that file when you're out of this block, okay? So that is really helpful because you won't have to worry about the file closing stuff and all that stuff. Enough beating around the bush, so how do we store something in the file? What you're going to do is, since it's opening in write mode, make sure it's opening in write mode. You're going to do file.write, okay? Now you can just be like, hello world. If I run this now, go to my text.txt, you should see hello world in there. You can actually do hello backslash n, which means new line. So if I run this now, you should see two different lines of hello world. You can do whatever you want to do with this. As I said, it's a text file, so we have all liberty to do whatever we want. So now there's another function, which is write lines. So now write lines takes a list of lines, okay, and writes them out in the file. So what you can do is put this in some kind of list. And let's say after this, I want to also put in hello world too. So now if I run this and go back to text.txt, you should see we have it concatenated to this first one. Okay, so why exactly is that? What essentially we told right lines is that put all these things inside this text.txt. So it doesn't care, um, it doesn't put them in new, each one in new line. So you actually have to like put it manually by yourself, like backslash n, here, yeah, backslash n, here, yeah, something like that sort. And if you now run this, you see that it gives you good new lines um, in all of them. Anyways, I hope you understand that right lines uses lists to put your text in there. We have seen how we can write two files. Anyways, just so you know, W plus actually means write plus, which means write reading and writing. So anything I'm going to say under the reading section, you can actually do it with W plus. So I'm going to skip that. And now I'm going to change it to R. So R means read. And this is the default whenever you're opening a file. So even if you put nothing in here, it's going to take it as read. So we are in there. Now we can read from files. Notice, notice, if you try to write for, um, something to a file when we're on the read mode, 
and you run this you can see it's going to throw us an error because we're not on the right mode now let's try to read so you can just do file or read and in here i'll well, not put anything inside i am if i run it you should see oh my god yeah we are, forgot you have to store this in a variable so i can just say text and it's going to be equal to that i can say print text and now if i run this you should see all those things are out here on the console if you if you don't want everything out here on the console you can actually specify like the number of characters you want so you can put like five so the first five characters is going to be printed out here to the screen that's hello if you want more than that you can put like a seven or like say let's say a nine and if you run this now you should see hello w o Notice that they also count white spaces so if you put a five it will take from h to o then also this white space now is going to be a six the next one is going to be a seven then this W is going to be eight because the next one is going to be like the new line character. And <laughs> let's not even go deep into that. The next one we have is read line. So read line just brings out the first line, okay? So if I run this now, you should see, hello. I know you may be saying, okay, what if we want to get another line? We cannot just put in the line number here, like five. The reason is because once we start opening the file, there's going to be like some cursor here. And this cursor is going to read this line by default. You can actually seek this cursor and like change it to this point in code or Python. But I'll show you that at the end as a bonus. So for now, just take read line as it reads just the first line of the text. Also, we have another one read lines. And this is going to return an array containing all the lines of the text file. So if I run this now, you should see hello backslash n, wall slash backslash n, and all that stuff. And this is kind of similar to what you're going to put in to the write lines function. Okay, we're done with R. R plus is also just like read and write. So it's just the same thing as the W plus. The next one we have is RB and WB. RB is means read bytes and WB means write bytes. So now we can do that. I'm going to put an image file in here because it's better for me to depict what I want to do. So I'm back here and I have some kind of image.png here. So just to show you what is inside that file, I'm going to actually change this to image.png and now I'm going to read the bytes and print it out. You're going to see a lot of gibberish. As I said, this is all bytes data and you can't like really understand it by just looking at it because you're not a computer. So the way we work with byte data, we don't exactly just read it like this. So you can read it and store it inside like a byte string. And from there, you can store it inside another file. Okay, enough talk. Let's actually do what I just said. So I'm going to get rid of all this and I'll just say byte data. And now over here, since we are reading from here, I want to store it in somewhere else so i can use the wb mode so i can do with open and here i'm just going to say img.png and the mode we want to use is wb which means write bytes okay then we can do as f and here we can do f dot write and we can just write in bytes data hopefully if i run this you should see image.png here and img.png is the same thing with image.png that aside if you want to like store strings or should i say a text I can do like image.txt and inside here, instead of just passing in this actual byte data, I can put B here in front of it. So B means like change this string to bytes. So now if I run this, you should see a text file, image.txt and we have bytes data inside. So we're finally coming to a close. We have A and A plus remaining. Anybody that's still watching out there, thank you for watching and please click that like button. <laughs> So the next one we have is the A. So we're going to just come back here and just remove all this. And here we can just do go back to our text.txt. And here we're not doing write byte or read byte anymore, which is A. What does A do exactly? A is append. So now whenever you're using the W or the WB, what exactly it does, or the W plus, what exactly it does is if you do something like file or write, you are going to overwrite the entire file, okay? If you notice in the beginning of the tutorial, anything I put will overwrite what was there before. But for A, which is the append mode, it is not like that. What you're going to do is, for example, you have file the write, and as long as this is in the append mode, and now since we've put this in here with our text.txt, you're going to see it just added to the file. So now, hopefully, if I run this, you should see um, text.txt, we have a new line there, hello. So now here you can also put like backslash n, and maybe probably backslash n in front. Then if I run this, you should see hello on two lines now because we used a backslash n in front of it and we used one outside. Anyways, hopefully you get the point. A plus is still the same thing, but the only difference with A plus and A is that you can read um, the data. So inside here, we cannot just read the data with the A. We have to do like A plus to use the file.read function. 
So I hope you understand everything I'll be saying. And yes, for the bonus that I promised you, so different parts of the file. What you can do is I'm just going to go back to my um, read mode, okay? And here I'm going to do file the read and read line. Before this, I'm going to seek that cursor somewhere. So I can do seek and do like four. And actually, it's supposed to be filed or seek. And yes, what this does is it will take the cursor to the fourth position. So the first position is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now it's going to read O. If I run this now, hopefully you should see O in the console. Okay, yeah, I forgot. You actually have to print this. If I run this now, you should see O in the console. If I go to text.txt and let's say this is um, this position currently is 5. Let's say this is 6, this is 7. If I go here and put like 8, hopefully you should see world. Just so you know, if you put it like in the middle here, if you put the cursor somewhere in the middle here, it's going to only take the what is after it. But if you put it in front of everything, it's going to take the whole line. Okay? Hopefully you get the point. If I put something like a 15 here, you should see like hello world too. Anyways, I think you get it now. This was the bonus I was talking about. Thanks for watching y'all. Subscribe for more tutorials and goodbye.